Folks, welcome aboard Thursday night, Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the Cacophony Edition. Welcome aboard. If this is your first time here, hang on, you're in for a hoot. Uh, if you've been here before, you know what awaits, chaos and mystery. Uh, thanks for joining us, and don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to be on the show, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. We will get you on there. If you want cool stuff like a shirt, uh, phone case, shower, shower curtain, weird Duvet shit, cover. duvet cover, women's panties. We got all that shit. Uh, take a look at our uh, link down below. Uh, if you're in need of some dice and who doesn't need more dice, uh, go on over to Twitter and hit up uh, Pirate Dog Dice. They make custom made dice. Uh, so if you're in the market, see if they have time to make it. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours smells like success, uh, get a hold of some adventure scents from oddfishgames.com. 60 different scents. Uh, one to suit all of you, especially that boss that you hate. Uh, pick him up a packet of uh, putrid sewer, putrid sewer, and just leave it in this car vent. Uh, he'll love you forever. Just don't get caught. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a writer just like me, only gooder, uh, check out their Shine System. That'll help you go ahead and write stuff coming soon. The RPG specific shine system uh folks if you saw last saturday you know i switched mics so if i cut in and out my apologies i'm still trying to get this damn thing to work but it's really nice there's no cords and i feel like madonna for you young kids uh madonna is the miley cyrus from years ago madonna was the share uh i thought she was the lady gaga uh -huh. <laughs> I had a, it went share madonna Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus. They're all the same person. Uh, they're time travelers. Look it up. That's true. Uh, look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> folks, this is the Cacophony campaign slash soap opera slash ongoing tumultuous activity. Let's introduce you to the uh, pair that will be making you think <sighs> this is stupid. Uh, we'll start with David. David, who are you and who do you play? Oh, great. Transition from, oh, this is stupid. To, hey, David, how's it going? I thought it was a very good transition. <laughs> uh, thanks. I caught on to that. <laughs> Hi, I'm David. I play Zadar on our Cacophony show tonight. Uh, he or uh, They are a uh, changeling, arcane trickster with um, a little bit of wizard mixed in there. And uh yeah, and I'm also in the Calamity campaign, which we had a great episode Saturday. So I heard the DM rocked it. <laughs> the DM did rock it. I'll give you that, Frank. I'm not going to bust your chops on it. He did. He did a damn good job. But anyway, in that campaign, I play Ingve, and in our B side, I play Crow. Uh, also, I'm um, in one shots every once in a while, and uh, yeah, between the roles, uh, we, I'm on there mostly uh, <laughs> on Tuesdays. But life's in a kind of transition right now, so I might might not be there. But I have to be there for this coming Tuesday because I'm running it, right, Frank? You are running it. Is it a? It's a. Is it an Iron DM? It is the Iron DM oh system, uh, campaign. Yep. Yep, we are working all year long to put together a campaign that's going to be published at the end of the year. So Frank will tell you all about that sometime. So sometime, yeah, yep. not, not tonight. But that's me. I'm David, and yeah, transition over back to Frank. Uh, and transition over to Carrie, our other player. Carrie, who are you, and who do you play? I'm Carrie, and I play Camille on Cacophony, and I play on the Calamity B side. I play a barbarian. And usually I'm wrangling the dogs. They seem to be quiet tonight. We'll see if that stays. Or once. So, yeah. Well, Steve isn't getting tired tonight. Uh, and folks, lest we forget, uh, we got a little uh, shindig coming up in February called MurderHoboCon.com. Uh, so if you're looking to go to a convention this year, but For not Valentine's be afflicted by, uh, <laughs> but not be afflicted by COVID or body odor, uh, check us out. We are an online virtual charity campaign or convention, and the important thing is charity because once our overhead is paid, which 
we keep way low. Uh, all the other profits go to Oceana.org uh, to help clean our oceans. So if you want to help save the world for the next couple generations and play a few games, check us out. We're on tabletop events. Look for Murder Hobo Con 1. It's actually the second one. Eh, big naming headache. Uh, or go to MurderHoboCon.com and hit the link there. We hope to see you. That is... Uh, Valentine's Day is on a Monday this year. Uh, we are playing Saturday and Sunday. A lot of events already. Still looking for more. That being said, six minutes into it, let's get on to the recap. Last time, these guys had to face off with a whole lot of shit. Uh, and the mic is going. <laughs> yep. Can't hear you. God Now damn I can it. hear you. <laughs> Of course. Maybe you just need to sit closer. Eh, maybe I just need to switch out. Because, <laughs> hell, I can't get any closer than this. <laughs> nope. Switch. There you go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not hearing you through my headphones. That's a problem. Uh oh. You got them turned on? <laughs> I thought I did. Are you hearing the voices yeah, in your off. head? Say again? Are you hearing the voices in your head? Now I'm connected. Ah, okay. Now I, can. I still can't hear you. Oh, man. That okay. is so weird. How do I sound? You sound fine. Sound good. But now. Still yeah. good. Now I can't hear shit. <laughs> no. Do you have front speakers? No, I can hear you. Okay, okay there we go. <laughs> not, a, not a goodbye, folks. Not a goodbye. <laughs> okay, so last time, uh, these guys found their good old friend Rosa, who was being sought after by the monks of Pick for God only knows what reason. These guys are also looking for Mortimer J. Sneed. They're trying to figure out who sabotaged the, the uh, automated guards. And, of course, uh, they were kind of suspects in the assassination attempt. So they had a lot of things going on. Last time, uh, not only did they find Rosa, they also figured out who the real assassin was, faced off with him and his two associates, including an Aarakocra. Camille herself had to go one-on-one -on -one fight. Uh, Birdo, a Birdo. And, and being a new player, eh, this kind of touch and go, but she succeeded. Uh, Zadar saved the day, or at least saved Rose's day. Uh, these three were successful. Uh, they have witnesses to show that they were successful. And the uh, guilty parties have now all been identified. Uh, Rosa has to go with the order of pick to go ahead and clear her name. So she is effectively right. out of the campaign again. Uh, these guys, shit kicked out of them, bloodied, beaten, hurt, and trudging home all the way back across town because they were at uh, dirigible fields. Can we get an Uber? Uh, you cannot get an Uber. Although... Uh, Zeppelin tells you he owes you big and that's two. Uh, so if you ever need something, he's there for you. He doesn't have any, remember, uh, they kind of let loose some balloons and he's got a <laughs> mess to clean up. Uh, to make matters worse, it is beginning to break. Oh, of course it oh, is. Oh, man. You're such an asshole. Hey. Well, Zadar is still milling it over because he took payment. He took the one magic item Zadar found said, thank you. I'm taking that in lieu of payment for damages. That's right. Uh, uh. <laughs> however, you, uh, you two and Zeppelin, uh, as the raindrops fall on you, Zeppelin informs you, well, it is the rainy season. <laughs> <laughs> uh he wishes you good fortune uh and says you got quite a way back let me give you something that i've been working on and he pulls out an item it's a round piece of cloth and he says if you hold this over your head the rain will will 
dribble off. I just, I, I, it's still a work in progress. I'm not sure. Okay. But I'll take might, it. Might need a stick and a handle or something, maybe. That's that's a good idea. I will uh, ask my uh, wife's cousin, Brella, uh, to see if <laughs> they, they can wow. figure that out. Uh, you guys trudge through the empty streets because it is midnight uh, of Nathan. The rain is cleaning the road, cleaning the buildings, and <laughs> it's starting to build. So by the time nice. you get back to your inn, uh, you guys are going to still be a little bit soaked. But uh, good news, <laughs> your associates on the opposite side of the wall quiet as a mouse tonight so uh, folks at home a uh, couple of their friends uh were amorously involved the last couple nights making a racket tonight no such racket but it really doesn't matter as you guys crawl into your respective beds zonk city baby you are out uh who wants to d12 against me to see if you locked your door oh i will uh, three that's that's a 10. Uh, you guys just crawled into bed, fell asleep. Uh, the next morning, uh, both of you roll a d12, please. Five. Nine. Zadar wakes up first. Uh, thunderstorm. A lot of thunder. Uh, door shut. Uh, the room is fairly warm. So, uh, but you look out. Some light, but who we? It's a big thunderstorm. Um, what would you like to do? Well, um, Camille's still sawing wood. She's, yeah, yeah. It takes uh, a lot out of a little person to do all that. It does, man. It's a big she, night. Yeah, it was a big night, and she kicked some ass. So, yeah, she big Marty fly, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, Zadar will probably, <laughs> there's no continental breakfast here, so. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, I might go out and there was a coffee stand, wasn't there? I think. Uh, not really a, co well, the coffee stand is three quarters of the way down. Oh, no. Uh, but, uh, what's your favorite place? The Cabbage Patch? The Cabbage Patch? Yeah. Cabbage Patch might have something. Okay. All right. I'm going to go over there and surprise Camille with uh, coffee for when she wakes up. You take that fabric. He's so sweet. Yeah. And I'm thinking, it's just like, you know, if I had a rapier and like fasten this to this, it's just like, hmm, there might be something there. <laughs> might be. You are in the capital of Gnome City. So, you know. I'm going to have to mention that to somebody. <laughs> Good idea. Uh, yeah. You get to the cabbage patch. You notice. Uh, unlike previous days here, because you're on week three and a half, oh, almost Lord. four, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this place has always been bustling. Not so much. <laughs> uh, you are able to traverse the plaza where you guys are at. No problems whatsoever. Uh, there's hardly any people out there. The business is open. Uh, no outside seating is available you go in and speak with the owner uh i thought i had the owner's name here too i don't remember getting the owner's i, name I don't think you guys have ever met the owner no uh the pizza hut owner you know oh Just yeah as an aside what day of the week is it uh i i don't have my calendar for this <laughs> okay. uh but it's, it's like a thursday okay yeah, I forget what the names of the, the days are, but it's, uh, <laughs> there's the calendar, but I don't have the names on it. Uh, oh, uh, my apologies. This is the start of week four. We've been here a while. Yeah. Well, you don't realize how long you've slept yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, as you get there, uh, they address you, Zadar. Uh, tell you good evening. Uh, are you here for dinner? Uh, evening or morning? Because I thought it was morning. Yeah, you did think it was morning. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, it's evening. 
Yeah, you guys um, have slept a long. We long slept time. twelve hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Longer than that, because that uh, oh. that would put you at one. You guys slept a very long time. I I say my apologies. I I am kind of disoriented <laughs> because. I was up late the night before and uh, oh, we know, we know, we heard, we heard, <laughs> yeah. we heard the problem at Dirigible Farms. You guys are heroes again. Wow. Uh, well, well, thank you. Um, well, it feels like morning for for me, and I wanted to surprise my companion with uh, coffee. Would you happen sure. to have any brewed? No, but we can get some brewed for you guys. I I. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, one of your friends uh, was already leaving. Uh, okay, which one would that be? Uh, the angry looking bald one in the robe. Bald one in a robe. Okay. Hmm. He uh, he left a, a a rather great deal of money for me to make sure that your needs were well taken care of. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, he said he said he was a uh, a dick. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Pick. He's a pick. Uh, oh, okay, so, okay. Uh, said so, said so he's a pick. Uh, you had it right the first day. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's uh, he he has given me a very sizable amount of coin to make sure that you and your associate are are well cared for. So. Your money is no good here. That's sort of oh. weird. Well, thank you. Thank you. And uh, I am surprised and I am grateful that they did that for us. So, uh, sure. So, coffee and... You and will wait coffee. 11 minutes for him to brew it. Steve. Oh, 11, 11 minutes, huh? <laughs> yep, 11, 11 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how that number haunts it, me. You know, that number is always there. Uh, a couple people walk by. Uh, One of them seeming, named Steve. Yes, and none of them seem to recognize you. Uh, but then you hear the familiar clank. Uh oh. Nine minutes into it. Hmm. Hello, Zadar. How are you? I turn on uh, on heel and let me guess. I see Colonel Clank. It is Colonel Clank, flanked by two other guards. Uh, the guards uh, seem to have been damaged recently, but seem to be repaired. Colonel Clank points out to you that we are currently functioning as expected. So, glad your, to, glad your, to serv hear that. <laughs> your, ser your services were your services were greatly appreciated. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Colonel Clank. <laughs> uh, I am supposed to relay a message to you. Uh, Rosa says. Uh, Fun times, just like usual. Hope to see you again. Uh, she left with the monks earlier today. Well, that was sweet of her to send her goodbyes. So uh, you, you and Camille are expected at the Hall of Justice, uh, but they are about to close. So I assume you can make it to the Hall of Justice in the morning. Uh, yes, we should be able to. Okay. Uh, you'll notice that Colonel Clank and the other two are wearing some kind of, not quite leather, but some kind of unusual skin uh, as a cloak. Oh. So, and it, ha it has a hood. Uh, yeah. Keeping in mind that these are automatons, uh, you probably don't want them to get rusty. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, Co I mean. Coffee is brewed. Nice. All right. <laughs> and they give you a great big celery plate. Celery? Okay, coffee, coffee and celery. Okay, I, I'm grateful, and I take both. <laughs> uh, this very nice man, very well put together, uh, says, if you need anything else from me, please ask for Gus or Gustavo. Well, thank you very much, Gus. Uh, which do you prefer, Gus or Gustavo? You are friends of mine. You may call me Gus. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, and my friend will appreciate this. You Breaking Bad fans will appreciate who that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, well, he included the celery plate because clearly uh, if your days and nights are mixed up, this will cut in between. Uh, so he gives you a, a very kind of tall urn 
uh, mm -hmm. with the coffee and also gives you two small mugs uh, that says the Cabbage Patch on it. Mm. Uh, what, uh, Gus, would you happen to have cheese, perhaps brie by any chance? You all against me. Brie and bread. Eight. Eight. Roll up. Roll. Yep. Ooh. S six. Eight. <laughs> Again. Uh, I cannot vouch for the quality of the breed, but yes, I have some. Uh, would it be possible to get some of that? She would really appreciate it. She loves coffee and cheese. Say no more. It is yours. He goes and he packs a small uh, cheese cloth uh, with bread and brie. Ah, thank you, Gus. And um, yeah, once we get our bearings straight again, we'll be here for the appropriate meal time. <laughs> you are always welcome here, heroes. Uh, Colonel Clank asks uh, if there's anything else he can do for you. He points out that he has been released. Uh, he no longer has to follow you around. Oh, uh, uh, no, and I thank him for his message, and we will be at the Hall of Justice first thing in the morning. Very good. Ted Knight will be happy. Uh, as, you <laughs> return, <laughs> as you return, uh, Millie is talking to her autonomous or tom, bleh, bleh, robot uh, <laughs> and sees you and goes, hey, somebody left you a note. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. And I'll She's take the note. She looks through her paper. She goes, it was a couple days ago. Uh, oh, here you go. Uh, oh. It is a note from Rosa. Hey, heard you were in town. We need to get together. <laughs> wow okay this is quite the well thank you thank you so much and so and i just pocket the note and uh head on upstairs to camille's door rap 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 <laughs> camille is an rb12 okay 12 oh no shit 12 <laughs> you walk in just as she wakes up oh Awesome. And uh, yeah, I say, well, so I'm trying to make up for, for leaving you hanging last night. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I went and I procured you some coffee, uh, some brie, and some bread, and this <sighs> celery plate. <laughs> I, know, I, I don't understand the celery, but I will definitely take the other two. <laughs> okay. That is very sweet. Oh, um, it's the least I could do. You got to tell her the other news? Uh, yes. Uh, the other news is that, uh, well, uh, the order of pick has actually paid and, uh, the uh, Gustavo, the, the owner, got, we'll call him Gus, <coughs> uh, and to take care of us while we're here in Nathan. And uh, I met up with uh, Colonel Clank. Well, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. I know. But I guess they were grateful. I don't know. So. Talkers should have been. <laughs> yeah, I, so, I just woke up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that's okay. I would have said the same thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I saw Colonel Clank and he's released us from he has, uh, from being chaperoned. Is he doing okay then? He seems a little off, but I mean, he. A he, short here or there. <laughs> He says all all the uh, automatons are functioning <coughs> at capacity. So, awesome sauce. Well, what else the other good news? What was the other one? Good news? It's Sorry. dinner time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And if you look outside, it's it's dinner time. We slept an entire day away. <laughs> what the fuck? But you're yeah, all healthy. I'm never yeah. going to get to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can go out for the nightlife. That's true. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice face. Yeah. Uh, a white guy dance face. Yep, exactly. <laughs> or uh, signs. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, I mean, we've got the evening, so... I guess we could go out and take a walk. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. It's oh, pouring right. rain. Oh, it's still pouring rain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And you have to be at the Hall of Justice in the morning. Yeah, that okay. too. Well, I um, guess I can look out my window and eat some brie and have some coffee. 
Oh yeah. Sure. I'll join her. <laughs> you guys are looking out uh, the plaza, which was once a little bit dusty and a little bit dirty, uh, clearly washed away. The rain has been constant, uh, and at times, gale uh, force winds out there. Uh, both of you, give me an investigation check, please. Uh, Twenty-one. Um, 13. Uh, Camille does not notice. Zadar spots a shadowy figure across the plaza. Every time the lightning strikes, uh, you get the outline of maybe a human-sized individual wearing a cloak. Uh, was it about the same spot where I first spotted? Uh, it was. I think, wow. Okay. I, I'll tell Camille about that and I'll try to point it out but she probably won't see it. Go ahead and re-roll uh, Camille. Uh, oh yeah uh, that's because uh, 25. Uh, yes another lightning strike illuminates the individual partially. Uh, it appears to be male or a very masculine female about human size. Uh, as the lightning strikes they step back into the shadows once again. That is kind of ominous. Hmm. Um, um, we could check that out since we've got nothing well, better to do. I mean, it, it's entirely up to you. Or we can just take a night off. <laughs> So we didn't see like any other dis we didn't see any distinguishing features nope. other than its Just profile and general that it's cloak, male. Blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. Human like ask a across a plaza, pouring yeah. rain, intermittent lightning. You know, as soon as we get down there, they're going to be gone. Mm -hmm. So I say we just make note and turn on the TV, watch an episode of Matlock. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's because that's what you do when you travel. <laughs> sure. Battle of the Network Stars if you're at Disney. Yep. Uh, everybody perception check. Okay. 18. Ooh, I am not perceiving much. 10. Camille, you hear footsteps to your left coming around the uh, portico. Like outside? Mm-hmm below us same level remember folks at home these guys are essentially the hojos there's a second level oh, okay. uh think uh think new orleans kind of thing these guys are looking out their window yeah, it's about a long way. at the end yeah. <laughs> exactly okay <laughs> yeah we'll push the tv outside <laughs> yeah uh so i poke my head out uh, it is uh, your old friend, Arrow Smith, and his Ugh. beloved Snooky. Uh, they come uh, walking by and. Hi. And Hi. Jiggle the door handle. Hey, can we come in? Uh, uh, what you need? <laughs> <laughs> we brought wine and cards. Oh. Sure. <laughs> sure. Come on in. <laughs> they come in, uh, true to their word, they have brought a burgundy and some cards and some uh, snacks. And they were wondering, uh, apparently this is the start of the rainy season. And there's not much to do. Did you guys want to play some cards? Yeah, why not? I offer them some celery. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> It'll go uh, with the crackers or whatever they bring. <laughs> uh, Aerosmith will pass. Saluki will just kind of belly up to the trough on that stuff. Okay. Uh, well, you know, she's a barbarian. Lives off the land. Druid-esque type of person. Uh, you guys play cards for four hours. Uh, wow. And you guys have a good time. So, okay. Uh, so now it's right around 10 o'clock. Uh Aerosmith and uh, Suki are a little bit tired. Uh, they thank you for a wonderful evening. Uh, Saluki, or Suki asks if you're going to use this plate. 
she's pretty much noshed half of it away. Right, go ahead. You can, you can take have the rest. Take it with you. She'll take it. And she certainly appreciates the ranch dressing. Uh, she has a great idea on a use for that. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. God, come on. Uh, but they're going to eat it for breakfast. What do right. you guys think? Right. Uh, <laughs> You see them leave. They go around the corner. Hear them. Uh, it's late at night. A quick peek outside. Mm-hmm. Nobody watching it. Okay. <clears throat> Whatever figure was out there is not out there anymore. Uh, you're still uh, a little Four. sore. It was a. Uh, it's kind of a brutalizing night. Uh, mm-hmm. But you guys, uh, you guys can probably sleep. Yeah, yeah I'm sure I can. I can always sleep. Go ahead and give me constitution checks. Let's see how you sleep. Uh, <clears throat> uh, check. Not save. Check. I know. Mm-hmm. Nine. Uh, uh, 16. <laughs> Zanar, you seem to sleep okay. Uh, Camille... You seem to have nightmares of a giant freaking bird attacking you, uh, probably from the fight. Uh, but the sleep, uh, while not great, is is not horrible. So you will not suffer any penalties this time. Uh, you guys sleep for a couple hours. Uh, there's a dim light. Uh, it's still raining, uh, but it's not storming. So it's just a steady rain. Uh, and there's some breaks in the clouds. There is some light, not a lot of breaks, uh, but it appears as though you slept through to the morning. Oh, we made it to morning. Uh, I say, where's a cat so I can just sleep some more with the cat? <laughs> uh, there, you guys have not seen any domesticated uh-huh. animals here. We have not. Uh, Interesting. Perhaps they yeah. eat them all. Possibly. Uh, Zadar will remind you that you're supposed to be at the Hall of Justice today. Yeah, I do. Okay, All right. Don't get that. Let's go to the <laughs> Hall of Justice. Okay. Uh, both of you roll a d20. Let's see if any lightning hits you. 18. Not 20. <laughs> nice. No lightning today. Thank uh, God. You guys make your way. Uh, Camille, you will notice what uh, Zadar noticed yesterday. In spite of the large population and the robust nature of pedestrian travel, there is hardly anybody out in this rain. Uh, it's almost like the city shuts down. It's just uh, rain? It's, I mean, do they melt? Are they wicked witches? What the hell? Uh, both of you give me Arcana check. Uh, with that, um, uh, uh, Twelve. Uh, Zadar, no clue. Camille, you've heard of the rainy season here. Uh, you don't consider it anything bad. I mean, you know, everything in the city is pretty sturdy. Uh, Maybe you just also everybody's short. You also know that it goes for months. So these people should be traveling along like Telosia and places like that. They'd appreciate this place. You know, Italy. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, go to the Riviera. <clears throat> As you guys trudge across, uh, you move across the river. Give me a perception check. Frost giants, places like that. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Perception. Uh, uh, 16. <clears throat> Yeah, everything looks normal. Uh, you start to go up the incline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can see there's clearly some of the grass has already gotten ruts in it as the uh, water seems to congregate going down the hill at the same spot. Uh, you make the climb. It's a little bit slick right now. The cobblestones are all wet. They're clean, uh, but they are wet. Uh, Do these fuckers you- have any idea of like gutters or anything? Gnomes live here, for God's sakes. What are gutters that you speak of? Uh, if you get to the <laughs> Hall of Justice, uh, the guards have created small shanties, uh, kind of, uh, you know, like a sunshade. So like, <laughs> the key- like the British little... 
Well, not so much that, but more like a pole with an umbrella over it. <laughs> uh, so, just a sunshade on the uh, beach. Uh, right. and, and they recognize you in Snap 2. Uh, they open up the door uh, and tell you uh, the individuals are waiting in the master hall. I say, hey, thanks, mm. fellas. Hey. <laughs> I caress uh, his bald <laughs> head as I walk by. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you guys go in, uh, shake the water off. Uh, several people are present. Some of them seem to recognize you. Others do not. Uh, you give a quick look around. You recognize going straight. Uh, that is no bueno. Uh, you're pretty sure it's to the left. You head down that way. Uh, and there are a set of gilded bronze doors master hall so uh you guys open it up and you see several people uh you see colonel clank two of his men uh the somebody called the inquisitor you see prince kennedy you see blue jay you see jaime ross the alderman and you see one other person. Whom I do not have listed. Wayne Dexter? <clears throat> or Phineas? Or... Well, since we've been watching Breaking Bad again, I say, yo, what up, bitches? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, that's not the right one. You know what? We'll go with Phineas Firm. Okay. Uh, right. Counselor. Uh, there, but there was somebody that you guys have met that I wanted there, but it's it's of no uh, importance now. Uh, the alderman says, oh, thank you for being here. Oh, that's it. Uh, Brock Hardjaw and <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Folks, if this is the oh. first time you've seen it, these are gnome commandos. Oh, yeah, that's right. Brock, that's right. Brock Hardjaw. Let me make sure uh, that my hair is done. That's right. Or no, he was the captain, and Hente Tweed is the lieutenant commando. She is just an ass beater extraordinaire. Uh, the group is there. They all rise and do a round of applause, except for Blue Jay. Doesn't seem to be that uh, keen on you guys. Uh, the alderman calls the meeting to order uh, and says, you know, we just like to go over the events of two days ago, uh, make sure that we understand the situation. Uh, and assume it is resolved. I killed yeah. mine. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I killed the people that uh, tried to assassinate um, Kennedy. So, <clears throat> We'll get to that later. Okay. Um, who are the members of Pick? They are a monastic order of assassins, actually. Are you somehow involved with them? No. 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 <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I was on their, for lack of a better word, shit list for a long time. Okay. Uh, the alderman continues. He goes, were you, because it appears this way, uh, not pointing any fingers at the hero of Nathian, uh, were you... I'm grasping my quarterstaff really hard right now. <laughs> uh, you can hear the knees clamp shut on everybody. Uh, <laughs> were you working with them? Because it seems seems um that there was a connection as i'm told and he he looks over at blue jay who was present at the fight uh so were you guys working with them for what purpose do you think I, merely an inquiry so why uh, did you think that if you're just inquiring uh colonel clank has pointed out that you had several run-ins with these individuals uh and these individuals have taken a friend of yours away 
It would be an acquaintance. And that person is a um, pirate? <laughs> uh, let's say finder of privateer. lost goods. Privateer. Privateer, sure. finder of lost goods. Ooh, privateer. I, I like that. Uh, Brock Hardjaw gives a dubious look uh, at this, but still maintains his composure. And I go... <laughs> That's going to win him over. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm the, more interested in his other person. The alderman uh, continues to ask very basic questions. The who's, uh -huh. the what's, the wherefores. Uh, and asks if the individual responsible for incapacitating Colonel Clank was one of these three individuals that were slain at Zeppelin Fields. To be honest, I'm not sure. That's a that's a question I was hope to find an answer for. No but idea. So far, I can't see it. So it's possible because these people were up to some dubious uh, plans here. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Do we Shenanigans. know what their end goal was? Uh, to lead the person that was taken by the order of pick out in the open and uh i guess assigned all the blame <clears throat> to their assassination attempt the door attempt. slams shut behind you and you hear bah, 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 bah. it's not fit for man nor beast out there <laughs> as slowly you turn, i turn <laughs> as you turn around it is deacon jones head cleric at the temple uh, he sees you two, immediately lowers his hands across his waistline and shimmies around to the side, taking a seat next to Hente. Uh, the alderman says, uh, are you familiar with Deacon Jones? Yes. Uh, so is my quarter uh, staff. Uh, we, uh, we sent Deacon to go ahead and see if he could speak with the dead uh, to go ahead and ascertain uh, while you guys were on your communal healing uh, to see if we could get any answers. Uh, Deacon, uh, what can you tell us? <coughs> the Deacon then surprises most of you with the news that the Aarakocra defeated by Camille was actually one of the retinue of Prince Kennedy. Uh, it appears as though uh, that creature, Blue Jay corrects him, female, uh, yes, female, was in league with uh, the individuals uh, Raleigh Espinosa and Missy Pyle. Uh, apparently, the other two are foreigners uh, with unknown ties. Uh, I could not get anything from Raleigh or Missy. I believe there was some kind of charm or enchantment placed on them. Uh, I was unable to get any useful information out of them. Zeppelin had to point out who they were, uh, as did Colonel Clank, uh, because he, of course, arrested them last week. <coughs> so I'm afraid, other than the fact that uh, Prince Kennedy has some problems within his uh, group. Uh, I cannot give any more answers. Uh, Blue Jay, Prince Kennedy, and Deacon Jones then get into a rather heated argument about what are you saying? Are you accusing something? Blah, 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 blah. They argue for about five minutes on this. I go uh, clack, clack, clack with my quarter staff. <laughs> Yo, really? You don't know who this raven was? She was a trusted member of our entourage. Then... This, this, this opens more questions than answers for us. I will now have to go ahead and review our security protocol. Uh, most of the uh, guards in the retinue I can personally vouch for. Uh, she was from another division. Uh, so at some point, are we going to get an apology? 
Did somebody identify the other body that actually Camille and I discovered that kind of uh, what was like the introduction to the events that occurred that night? The worker? Yeah, it was just a just the, a, wor the worker, worker. had yep the worker has been identified. It was uh, it was uh, just a mere gatekeeper. Oh, poor poor guy. Uh, Prince Kennedy will begin uh, a wholehearted a apology. Three -part apology. A three part apology. Three part apology. But uh, Blue Jay will interrupt him uh, rather graciously and uh, point out to the prince that he needs not apologize to anyone. Uh, he accepts complete blame for the misunderstanding, and it is he who should apologize. Prince Kennedy, of course, is a young cardinal. Uh, Blue Jay is a seasoned president. Uh, Blue Jay will then turn to both of you and give a wholeheartedly, wholehearted apology. You can make insight rolls if you would like. I'll make an insight roll and... Um, this was yeah. 18 on the die. Uh, insight, 15. Uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty well sold that yeah, he means it. it. Camille, you are certainly sold that it comes from the bottom of his heart and he seems to have ingratiated himself, knowing full, full well that he, uh, under the events discovered, with the evidence present, uh, made an incorrect conclusion, and he is wholeheartedly apologetic. Uh, Prince Kennedy, ooh, that seems normal. Uh, the alderman, oh, very good, very good. Brock Hardjaw. <laughs> Right back at you. <laughs> uh, seems to be bored. Uh, okay. You hear some paper shuffling, uh, and Phineas uh, kind of makes a lot of noise. Uh, and the alderman's like, uh, Phineas, do you have something to add to this? Uh, Phineas uh, points out that he does, uh, and he has discovered some trace evidence that he feels might help you get to the bottom of the investigation concerning Colonel Clank and the other autonomous autonom yeah, robots. 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 Uh, <laughs> I, I'll get that word right tonight, sooner or later. Uh, he goes into a very long-winded, very uh, Is he close mortem. to me? He is at the far end of the day. God damn it. Uh, you, guys, you guys are at one end of the table. Everybody else is way out of uh, quarter staff range. He goes into a very long-winded, very Mortimer J. Sneed-esque explanation of what he has found, indicating that this is a new source of investigation technique uh, that he himself is working on with his friends, uh, D.R. Watson. Um, it is called a uh, print. Uh, when people touch stuff, they leave prints behind. Uh, so far, he has yet to find any duplication of said prints, although uh, it has only been going through gnome trials, so he's not sure if humans uh, or halflings share the same traits or if all of their prints are the same. Uh, it is in the infancy. Uh, the alderman clears his throat, uh, introducing him to a... And he explains uh, that you are looking for a gnome. Uh, he explains that further information from the fingerprints seems that it is most likely a male mount. He's very happy. Well, that is that is some enlightening information. So, yeah, so a male known that had access or achieved access to the control room. Uh, there is another knock on the door behind you. Okay. Everybody looks at each other. The yeah, alderman we... kind of puzzled. Uh, enter, uh, and a small, fat gnome uh, with an unusual hat rushes in uh, towards Phineas. Uh, he points out that this is his associate, D.R. Watson. Uh, uh, D.R. Watson hands him some paperwork 
Uh, they both look over it and he's like, are you sure about this? I am. Uh, Phineas goes over the things. Another throat clearing occurs as the alderman is growing impatient along with the rest of them. Uh, and he points out that there was also strange currency located uh, that we had overlooked initially. It was actually tucked away in the shingles on the roof uh, and it has been found. Uh, Brock Hardjaw snaps out of his uh, indifference and he's like, what, what kind of currency? Uh, well, these are, octag currency. these are octagonal coins uh, from the southern reaches. Uh, very unusual. Uh, not a lot of travel from this area. Uh, Brock immediately goes into commando mode states that uh, all kinds of infiltration of the uh, Nathian government may have already occurred. It certainly occurred with the Arakaka people. Blue Jay and Prince Kennedy take offense to this. There is a shouting match. Uh, Brock is on the table yelling. Uh, Blue Jay has pushed the prince out of the way. The two are squabbling back and forth. And it is D.R. Watson who yells out, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> nice. The pair look over at this overweight, paunchy gnome uh, who is just red in the face. And he points out that yelling about this is not going to get us anywhere. We need to find this person. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Phineas gives him, gives him the nod. Uh, mm -hmm. And D.R. Watson goes into a long-winded explanation of the coinage, pointing mm -hmm. out that it is unusual, but certainly if it has been used within the confines of the city, some of the more observant merchants will have an idea on where this person passing it is. And says, that's not my job, that's you guys. That's a you thing. Not a me thing. I say, um, yeah, Rambo. Rain it in. <laughs> <laughs> so the alderman says, well, uh, I believe all of our questions have been answered. Uh, thanks, Camille. Thanks, Zadar, for coming by. Uh, clearly, uh, it's obvious that they did a lot of heavy lifting yesterday with witnesses and identi identifying things. Clearly the monks of Pick were already interviewed. You guys were just last on the list because uh, they figured you needed a break and it was pretty rough. Uh, Zeppelin pointed out that you guys had done an awful lot of work uh, in the field of combat. So you got a break. Uh, insight, both of you. And I need to ask a question before we go. Sure. Oh dear. This is not going to be good. Uh, 14 for Insight. Insight? Oh, 8. Uh, Camille, you, you aren't catching on anything. Zadar, you seem that, uh, I don't know, this is probably just a dot your eye, cross your T kind of thing. Uh, you start, neither one of you are in any trouble. That, that much is obvious. Clearly, you are considered heroes for uncovering it. You've discovered <laughs> the assassination plot tours. Uh, <clears throat> there is a question on whether or not there are more out there, particularly in the Arakaka ranks. But for the most part, you guys have done a really good job in resolving the tense relationship between the Arakaka and the gnomes. Uh, so that is definitely a feather in your cap. Uh, ah, uh -huh. <laughs> before they excuse you, uh they ask do you have any questions i ask since we have so many people here and you've interviewed so many people <clears> in the <throat> last day or so i was wondering if you ran across anyone named mortimer j sneed phineas uh raises his hand uh we saw him yesterday 
but he was not part of this. And, well, that, uh, that's fine. I just, we need to speak with him and we've been having a hard time finding him. Uh, Brock Hardjaw asks, who is this individual? I can have my people keep an eye out for him. He is or, a friend of ours her. from Cacophony and he is... I defer to Zadara. How much do we want to tell him? Uh, well, he's a professor at the Grand Academy. Uh, Ooh, we met him Academy. on sabbatical in Cacophony. Wow, very nice. We've become very good friends with him. Uh, so he is not a plateur. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Okay. No, he's a problem he uses solver, his actually. For good only. Yeah. What's he's, he look like? Uh, I turned to Phineas. <laughs> A lot like a lot like that. So, so maybe he's a uh, dashing, taller. dashing individual. <laughs> yes. uh, Brock and Hinte roll their eyes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, age. Mu- uh, age. I'm not quite sure. Thirty-ish. Uh, no, a little we'll higher. Middle middle aged. Fifties. Fifties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you give a description of him. Oh, yeah. Uh, his uh-huh. his appearance may be graying a little more. He seems to have been not feeling too well. That's one of the reasons why. We Doesn't have the plague, him. though, right? No, 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 no. no, no. It's, not, it's nothing contagious. I just think he's exhausted himself. Oh, okay. So. Uh, I will pass that information along to my people. It turns to Colonel Clank, and I assume you'll pass it out to your guards. Yes, I will. I will go ahead and do that, Captain. Uh, that's that's that's, all the, that's all we had. <laughs> well, we certainly appreciate you coming through in the rain. Uh, you know, once again, we're very happy. Uh, Prince Kennedy stops and says, "I, I, I would like to impart something on." The alderman uh, steps back. And, by all means. Uh, Prince Kennedy uh, says, I would like to give you a gift from our people to you um, for your service in assisting Blue Jay uh, with the investigation and being able to go ahead and summarily bring those responsible for justice. Uh if that is okay with you. Um, we'd be honored, but it's not necessary, Your Eminence. It, it is necessary. You, uh, you you were wrongly accused. We have apologized. We would like to give you something. Uh, we understand uh, you cannot fly with a, without a. Correct. That is true. But you frequently fly in uh, the airships? Yes. Correct. That is correct. So if you were to fall out, that would be a bad thing. It has happened. It has happened, yes. (laughs) Uh, I would like to put your mind at ease. And he turns to Blue Jay. Blue Jay stands up and has a little wooden box. Uh, and he comes down to the far end, slides it in between you, and returns to his seat. Uh, Prince Ken- or Prince Kennedy, uh, with the gratitude of my people and myself, as well as my retinue, we would like to present the small token of our affection for you. And uh, this is a gracious but gift, it, and we yeah. thank you. <laughs> There are two rings inside. One is gold. One is silver. Both are adorned in etched words that you do not know what it is. Okay. Um, can we ask without can offending we ask them? Can <laughs> without offending them? Um, um, I, we had discovered that you frequently, much like the commandos, only not nearly as trained as they are uh, <laughs> or skilled uh, that, 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 you, that you frequently go up in the airships uh zeppelin smith 
pointed out yesterday that uh, you guys knew his cousin, nephew, yeah. something, yeah. Uh, and frequently traveled with him. Uh, we got the uh, impression that Zeppelin did not have an excessive amount of faith in his uh, relation. Uh, <laughs> and, and there was some story of smashing a face on a tower. Yeah, yeah that, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, these, uh, uh, honestly, are, are, are very near and dear to us. Uh, we do not give them out willy nilly. These are important tokens of admiration. Uh, if you wear these rings uh, and fall, uh, you will float oh. like a feather uh, down uh, up to 200 feet. Uh, wow. So, you know, be careful. <laughs> uh, but uh, please accept these with our gratitude. Um, they are enchanted. Uh, you will notice uh, if you begin to fall, the letters will glow and the magic will, will cover you up like a warm set of wings. Oh, very this, nice. This is wonderful. Thank you, Your Eminence. So these are rings of feather fall. So you. in that case, <laughs> I take the feathers that I got from the raven when I vanquished her and I offer them back. Timba wow. with his arms open. <laughs> oh my God. I, I made her watch that episode. Of the other oh, no. uh, Blue Jay will take it. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, thank you. We will make sure that these serve a purpose. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, Prince Kennedy announces that uh, he appreciates the alderman's uh, ability to handle the city. He and his retinue will be leaving later this afternoon. I wish them good travels. Blue Jay comes up to you, looks you sternly in the eyes. Again, my deepest apologies. I go up and give him a big old hug around his knees because he's probably taller than me, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. you, can, okay. you can tell it's uncomfortable for him. <laughs> yeah. That, that was my point. <laughs> yeah. I go, if we're ever in the neighborhood, we'll stop by and see you. Phineas and uh, Dr. Watson are waiting in the wings to talk to you. Uh, the alderman is talking to Brock Harjaw and Hente, uh, or Hente and Colonel Clank. Uh, clearly, the meeting has concluded. There is nothing more, but Phineas and Dr. Watson are waiting for you to unclench Blue Jay. I say no. I gotta keep. It. <laughs> Hold on, Tom. I must really go now. <laughs> but we just really started to understand each other. Prince Kennedy. <laughs> Fine. We need, we need to go. Uh, <laughs> they leave. Point out that if you're ever in the Southlands, feel free to stop by their airy. Uh, he would love to have you as esteemed visitors. I say, if you ever go to Cacophony, stop by the Adventurers Guild. I would do so very much uh they they leave phineas and dr watson come up phineas introduces you guys to dr watson uh he snaps his heels together and he's a nazi he, yes he's a nazi uh, oh Eric, Eric watson <laughs> oh gosh hail satan uh, <laughs> yeah. but uh he says i have heard a great deal about you too uh it is a pleasure to meet you both uh, it is a pleasure to meet you. And I'm sure uh, everything you heard has been exaggerated. Yeah. Uh, who's like, who, who's who taking knows? the gold and who's taking the silver? I'm I was going to ask. Silver. Uh, okay. Zadar will take the gold. I like okay. silver. Right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you guys have that. Uh, DR Watson looks at the box. He goes, wow, this is really interesting wood. Uh, Phineas <laughs> points out uh, a couple of updates. Uh, he did. His father actually spotted uh, Mortimer uh, over by Zeppelin Farms for some reason. Didn't get any more information. Probably just a looky-loo. There were a lot of people at Zeppelin Farms. Everybody in town's heard of what happened. Big shootout at the OK Zeppelin Farm. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that is one piece of information. 
he feels that he is exceptionally close. Uh, he has cross-referenced uh, both time travel tomes as well as medicinal tomes. Uh, I, I think I'm getting somewhere. Uh, I just have one other book to go ahead and factor in. Uh, and then he turns the floor over to D.R. Watson, who goes ahead and explains the currency, what it looks like, how it is completely discernible from all other currency. It is octagonal with a hole in the middle, very rare from the Southlands. Not exactly sure why it would be here. He's a smidge long winded, uh, but he gets to the point because he's already been, you know, hassled already today. Uh, he would like to assist you guys in the investigation. However, he has other duties that are more pressing and cannot. Uh, he would like to be kept abreast of the situation and he will pass along information for you uh, if uh, that is acceptable. Oh, yes, sure. definitely. Um, where is the order of pick from? Or are they from the South? They're from North of Cacophony. North of Cacophony. Okay. And Cacophony mm -hmm. is about. Way east. Uh, hang on a second, and I will go ahead and show you because I don't have the world map up. Okay. Tisk, tisk. Well, uh, you know, it's rare that you guys would ask about that. Uh, let's go with continent map. Uh, Hexless Large. So I will go ahead and share the screen for all to view. You guys are currently down here in Nathian, mm -hmm. uh, off the coast of Andorra. Cacophony is over here on the peninsula tip. Wow, we're hell and gone. The order of pick is here. You guys actually took a boat up here to Cathaway, right. went mm -hmm. through Telosia, airlifted your way over Tiev, uh, found the cloud giant uh mansion oh, here that was a long time ago landed in freckland uh went to the grand academy uh dropped off the uh box here yeah. uh crossed by sedellus uh, skimming the edge and then down here the coinage in question is from Lushwal. okay have we come across anyone from there in our travels you have not. Okay. The coinage is e extremely uh, noticeable. There's no question about it. Most of the coinage you've come across are in small bars or round coins, some square coins, no coins with holes in them. So if we look, do they have the coins with them? Uh, yes. So uh, DR, DR Watson has uh, the coin that he found. If we look at the coin, can we tell when it was made? Uh, give me an investigation check. What about the value of the coin? How heavy is it compared to other currency? It is a copper coin. Uh, copper coin. Okay. Uh, lighter in weight. Uh, it appears to be normal. I get 11. Uh, it's kind of worn as well. Uh, so the print mark is kind of bent, uh, kind of from chewing on it to check it. Uh, but other than that, it appears to have a human face on it, uh, kind of a side portrait. Uh, Is it and reminiscent then, of anyone we know? No. Yeah. Okay. Just looks like some old white dude, probably. Uh, <laughs> and the, the hole is right in the chin area. Oh, that's kind of weird. And the hole is minted that way it is not an accident hmm. okay. it's almost like if it were cast uh, yeah okay yeah it's not a stamped coin it's cast coin um, so it's also unusual the hole isn't like so it's not like you could put it on a rope and wear it yeah you can do that but, not a rope a well, string maybe so, like, if my face was the coin, the hole would be here at the bottom of my chin? It would be off-center. And remember, it's octagonal, eight-sided. Okay. But, yeah, you could certainly run a string through it and wear it around your neck or a lanyard on your wrist. Okay. 
You may even presume that that's how they do it wherever this loose wall place is. Are we boring you? I am very tired. It's I'm been a uh, sorry. Uh, so, okay. So, uh, but we don't know. I mean, this is player knowledge versus character knowledge. We don't know that it's from loose wall, right? Or does uh, Watson know? Uh, Dr. Watson knows it's from loose wall. Oh, okay. So I okay. asked Dr. Are people from loose wall typically up here? It is rare uh, because they have to cross the great desert. Hmm. What is that noise? Uh oh. Uh, so yes, uh, travel would clearly uh, be required either via boat and even uh -huh. via boat they would still have to cross a portion of the desert mm -hmm. uh or a long trek okay could a uh, airship move across the plains like that if they have it mm. i mean okay. currently remember prior to nathan you only saw the one airship uh, right so airship travel is still pretty remote you've seen five of them here right uh, add uh arrow smiths that's six right so it's still in its infancy okay but i you would yeah. have to you it's a good question you but you would have to ask zeppelin okay all right and i will note that to ask zeppelin because <laughs> That was the first thing I thought of uh, when they mentioned the coins were from elsewhere. Sure. You know. No, a, a very reasonable question. But uh, you would have to ask Zeppelin if any of his airships are there or if he is aware of any other cultures currently working in the uh, aircraft automotive industry. Is there a bank here? Uh, there actually is a bank in uh, Nathian. So we should probably go there and see if there is any exchange good answer yeah uh let me pull that up uh and it's actually not too far away from you guys well thank god it's wet out <laughs> i i did not anticipate you guys thinking of that That's uh, we're awesome you guys are <laughs> clearly awesome -ish. so uh you guys are over here yes. in the uh, hall of justice which is this one <laughs> Uh, the bank itself is located uh, behind. It's this building. Okay. I'm sorry, we'll go your cursor again. I'm... Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do some annotation. You guys are presently here. And that is where the bank is. Okay. In the shadow right. of the high turret. <laughs> hmm. Ooh, speaking of shadows. This I'm was the problem of... right here. Hmm? I said the yowling. <laughs> oh. So okay. it, it is still raining outside. Uh, you can see that the Aarakocra have kind of floated across the river in flight, uh, probably back to where they are staying. Uh, you know. Right, right. Um, and they would they would be staying over here. Got it. Okay. Well, I say to Camille and Watson, uh, perhaps we should go to the bank and inquire. Dr. Watson uh, has other duties that he must perform, so he wishes you the best of luck. Uh, says goodbye to Phineas. Asks if he wants to meet at the Cabbage Patch later uh, for lunch. They have a thing, don't they? Yes. Okay. <laughs> They're uh, in the same clubs. Yeah. Shortwave I mean, radio club, boat club, <laughs> ski club. Let's, right. Let's go hang out or let's go to the bank. Okay. Uh, you guys will pass by several of uh, these buildings. You do not know that that is the Thieves Guild, by the way. Uh, <laughs> there are there are multiple buildings, multiple merchants here. Uh, textile. Okay. But we're smart enough to keep track of our shit, though, right? 
so far you have you oh, haven't no. <laughs> there, there there is almost nobody out on the streets so okay. this place packs up it's like uh at home indiana at midnight there's they roll up the sidewalks and that's all she wrote uh it's still early morning you know mid-morning probably uh there are a few people out but they are point a to point b there's no dilly dicking around uh because it's raining so uh as you guys travel through you can go into the various merchants or you can go straight to the bank um uh is there uh any merchant of note i mean you said that pretty Businesses are open, but just nobody's on the streets, correct? Correct. Okay. Is anybody right. shopping? Few people. I mean, the few people that are roaming around will go into different buildings for different things. I mean, that just sounds uh, life, like it's bad for business. Life, life is not going to stop well, just yeah. because it's raining. Uh, well, it kind of seems like it has. Yeah. Uh, in this region, uh, there are barristers. I mean, you know, you're close to the, the gulags, so, mm -hmm. you know, you, you got to have those people. Parchment dealers, ink dealers, uh, metal smiths, you know, got to have the cups. Uh, so things not of like that nature. grocery stores or uh, stuff in for this, normal people? Uh, in this area, these are all mostly specialty shops. There is no, there's no tavern. Uh, there's no inn here. These are all very specific buildings. Okay. Well, yeah, I say we go to the bank and see what's going on. You go into the bank uh, and there's an individual there, uh, human, uh, older, kind of odd, older female. Uh, there are gnomes lining the entire hall. She's more like a greeter. They're Jewish, like. right? Yes. Uh, yes, John Stewart. Uh, yeah, I was about to Gring, say. Gring, Gringotts is all Jews right here for some oh, reason. Because that was the first thing I thought of when I saw him. Oh, they got to be Jews. Yeah, oh, we're man. fucking goblins. <laughs> uh, no, but it. She's. You can't tell if she's like the maitre d or the branch manager. Uh, but gnomes uh, at desks line each side. There are six gnomes and six gnomes. Uh, mixed sexes uh you know everybody is equal here in nathian uh but the lady uh in a very deep voice uh thinking wang uh asks <laughs> uh what may we do for you uh, we'd like to talk to somebody about current currency exchange which currency would you like to know about uh and, and i Motion to Camille to produce the the coin. Uh, Lushwal currency. Yes. Yes. Has there been an influx of Lushwal currency uh, through the bank recently? <clears throat> uh, she motions for a gnomish female to come over, uh, hands her the coin. Uh, May I? Of course, please. Answer the coin. Uh, the female looks at it. Loosh wall, copper. Five years. King Jorge, I think. Hmm. Uh, Have there been people from Loosh wall exchanging currency in the bank recently? <laughs> I, I, the bank manager i have not seen anybody from loosh wall years uh the female points out that uh she has seen a uh, small influx of these coins hmm. how does that uh, happen uh do vendors at, here take the take this coin in lieu of look, yeah, it looks at Zadar and looks at you and says, while well, you might be from these parts, uh, this person is clearly a trap. You're a gnome, right? Me? Yeah. I'm a halfling. Oh, you're, are you sure? I think I so. Know. Hi, right. Yeah, I'm just a halfling. 
Oh, okay. I've had it uh, wrong all this time. All this time. I, for some reason, too. I was thinking of you were no. Nope. Uh, you two were clearly not from this area, so I would imagine the currency that you have is not Nathan either. Uh, and that is true. To answer your question, uh, currency is done by weight. So foreign currency is weighed appropriately and the exchange rate is given. Normally it's fairly close. Uh, if they come to us, says the bank manager, uh, they can exchange all of the currency that they want for Nathian currency. Uh, vendors, however, usually weigh it out themselves. Has uh, a particular individual been coming by with the uh, influx of Lushwal? Looks at the young female gnome. Uh, no. Uh, one moment. Runs back to her desk, comes back. She has another Lushwal coin, but there's a notch out of it. Oh. Uh, the bank manager then points out that uh, clearly whatever was what purchase was made with this, uh, this coin was excessive, so they shaved some of it off. Uh, we call this a two-bit transaction. Okay. Uh, yeah, but no particular individual has been coming in uh, trafficking loose wall. <clears throat> we have not seen anybody bringing it in. Uh, and she asked the female gnome, female gnome says, uh, this all came from the eastern side of town. Eastern side. Okay, well, thank you. That helps uh, quite a bit. Uh, any How particular you know it comes from the eastern side? Yeah. Uh, I handle the eastern assets. Mm. But I mean, wouldn't somebody, wouldn't a person have to deposit said coin under an account? Eastern merchants would have done that. So uh, East, is there Eastern merchants have all have one count, account? Well, no, I, I would have to look at my notes in order to figure out which ones were responsible. Could you do that for us? And it I, will take it will take several days, but I can do I that. Bat my lashes at her. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that would help. <laughs> T twelve against it. Maybe, maybe she swings that way. Eleven. Four. Uh, eh, you know, not the worst person she's ever done it with. <laughs> hey. Hey, you know, you're in time. It's a different makeup here. You know. I'm just saying. You know, I, I'm not putting any timeline on her. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, no, the, the manager says we can go ahead and do that. Uh, there will be a small fee uh, for time. That's fine. Uh, need, uh, three gold pieces? Sure. Of course. I hand them over. Okay. Uh, where can we can get I a hold say, of you once we find you? Can I have your answer? digits? <laughs> <laughs> They're attached. No, no. <laughs> I mean, how do I get a hold of you? Uh, we will get a hold of you uh, when we have your answer. I say not um, you, her. <laughs> uh, she looks at the boss lady and the boss lady says, we will be in touch. <sighs> Fine. There's no fraternizing on company time here. You go, surf, <laughs> you go surf porn at your house, not at work. That's not, that's not their There's job. There's not even porn here. That's weird. Not that's that what we you found. found. You guys have to look around. <laughs> you found Deacon Jones uh, maybe etching some porn. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe there's etchings somewhere. Um, oh, I'm sure there's etchings. Uh, I there is in the Margu campaign. <laughs> they are. I don't want to talk about that stuff. Those uh, guys are creepy. Yeah, I tell her that we're at uh, Millie's place. Uh, yes, we are familiar yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, it, it will take approximately a day or two. We will go ahead and get you an itemized list of where this currency was retrieved from. And I reiterate, it's not an emergency. Not a problem. We will get it done. We are efficient. Is there anything else we can do for you? Did you need to transfer any of your own coinage? Uh, the exchange rate is very favorable at this time. Do we need to do that? Should we do that? Your coins have not had a problem being accepted in the places, and you have at least two places where you don't pay anything. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> I say we're heroes. We don't need to worry about it. <laughs> I see. 
Clearly, so, the bravado did not win her over. No, well, clearly I don't care it did about not. The grand manager, <laughs> just the little girl. <laughs> so, okay, well, we thank her for her time, and uh, yes, yeah. So it is our say, pleasure to serve you. And uh, I say to Camille, well, hopefully this pans out. We hear something. So. Well, you know, we had to try. Yeah, true. We did. Uh, you go back outside. Still raining. All right, so. And it's lunchtime. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess we need to go eat. We need to go try Mortimer or find Mortimer again. Yes. I'm trying to think. The last time somebody saw him was at the fucking dirigible farms again. That's twice that they've spotted him there. So maybe we should go speak with our friend at dirigible farms. So, but first, we should set a honey trap for him. Sure. <laughs> so you are there. Where do you want to eat? Keeping in mind that red is food and drink. Uh, what is the the red by the purple on by the wall? Right here. Mm-hmm. You've never been there before. What's okay. it called? Is that where you're going? Uh, Once we sure. know what it's called. <laughs> well, you'll what? have to you'll have to get over there to see it. Fine. Okay. We'll we'll head there. The rain has gone to a light rain. Nice. Ah, nice. Uh, as you get over there, uh, it's called Cooper's. Cooper's. Okay. Do they have a menu outside? Uh, they do. Uh, it is a blackboard and it is clean. Uh, the rain. <laughs> right. Uh, it looks like a very a, a themed uh, tavern. Okay. Uh, book, bookish. Uh, the the pillars that hold up the portico are cut out and old tomes uh, that are of little use anymore uh, are stacked in there. But it it looks like looks like a nerd hangout. I guess you can't huh. really go wrong with that. No, no. I mean, Cheetos and Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's right. that's right. So so yes, we'll 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 go to Cooper's. Okay. Uh, you guys go into Cooper's and you see a lot of the librarians here. Uh, you will not see Phineas Ferb or D.R. Watson. They are at a different location. Uh, but you notice a lot of aesthetics here, uh, acolytes, if you will. Uh, and there is a menu just inside the door. Uh, they are all dumbass themed ones. Uh, the novel according to Ham, things of that nice. nature. Uh Green uh, the, and the, him. the old man and his pint. Uh, very librarian theme. Very, very niche uh, menu. Uh, but it all looks like normal food for the most part. Mm-hmm. Uh, who wants to be 12 against me? Uh, I will. Uh, three. Eight. Uh, you got to sit at the bar because all the booths are taken. Okay. I like sitting uh, at the bar. Yeah. Uh, you sit next to the bar. Uh, it is a gnomish establishment. They are running it. Uh, they all have aprons uh, that look like books embroidered into them. Cool. You know, kind of niche nice. place, but a nice place. Uh, there is no music here at this time. The rain it lightly patters on the roof. Uh, but other than that, the fires are hot. It's nice and homey. Nice. Uh, the bartender swings by, asks what your drink order is, and then he'll come by for food order. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, what what <laughs> what pints do you have? Uh, as far as uh, we have yeah. white, red, and cherry. Cherry. Wine or beer. Ale. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, cherry. Yeah, cherry. Cherry. Okay. Uh, he uh, walks over, gets a couple of cherry uh, ales, a nice foam, very fragrant piece. Uh, to the left of you is a human, a pair of humans talking. Uh, to the right of you, uh, gnome librarians. Uh, bartender says he'll be with you in just a minute, uh, slides a, a parchment over to you, uh, the background design, the watermark, if you will, looks like a book. It is a menu. Uh, it goes through the list. Um, it 
uh, again, Hemings Way Porridge, you know, stuff like that. Nice. So nice. Uh, it's, you know, I, I didn't have time. I didn't think you guys would go to Cooper's. I thought you guys would just fucking eat for free somewhere. So I didn't go through the menu. But, but that that is essentially the menu at Cooper's. It, it is all, you know. It's all themed. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Yellow eggs and ham, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dr. Sousa thumb. Uh, but you sit there. Both of you give me perception checks. Okay. Uh, perception. Ooh, 20. Is, <laughs> ooh, okay. Uh, 12 for Zadar. Zadar, you are next to the humans. They are talking about some, I don't know, insane fight. Uh, apparently there was <laughs> magic shooting across the sky and there were fireballs. Pew, 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 pew. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Camille, on your side are the two gnomes. Uh, they are talking about something. And with the 20, you overhear them talking about the strange currency in town. Nice. So. Can I say, um... I asked them, trying to be surreptitious and not like totally creepy. We found some weird currency around. What kind of currency do you have? Worst pickup line ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I, trying to pick anybody up. <laughs> you're a single halfling. In I'm a with my bar partner over here. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, give me a persuasion check. Oh, come here, Weezer. Okay. Don't let Trixie eat you. And yes, folks at home, if you were tuning in for a lot of fighting, not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> you said persuasion? Yep. Mm -hmm. 12. Uh, there's uh, Lushwal currency. Why is that a big deal? Well, it's very rare in this, these parts. Mm. Those people are slavers anyway, says the other one. What do you mean? Uh, the first one, um, uh, he's had too much cherry ale. Uh -huh. They're not slavers. They use indentured servants. It's entirely a different thing. Isn't that the, the same concept, thing? The concept, uh, albeit, and he starts to go into a long-winded discussion. Right. Zadar, you're next to the humans. They're talking about powerful magic and mages and just all sorts pew, of shenanigans. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I am, um... Come on, you could get our meal for just, free. Just, uh, yeah, you know, taking it all in, and it's just like, yeah, I, I, I think I've seen uh, the events that you're talking about. I was there. Yeah, we were there. <laughs> hey, shut up. You're talking to the gnomes. Uh, you were there. Mm hmm We were. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Persuasion is, uh, yeah, let's see. Tw 20, not natural. Are you still rocking the cans? Uh, yeah, I am. What? Oh, is it boobs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One to five, they're interested in your story. Six, they're just going to stare at your cleavage till their eyes bleed. Okay. If you were there, what happened? Oh, I can tell you all about it. Uh, it is a story of intrigue and, uh, yeah. Fighting, fencing, fencing love. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ridgibles were, were destroyed. There was fireballs and all that. And somebody even lost uh, their uh, head. Uh, 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 bartender here. He needs to know what you guys want for food they're getting oh. busy oh okay um, i say cheese is there a cheese uh yes there there is a cheese what kind of cheese uh it's a cheese uh from across the bay called fromage i'll take that <laughs> would you like it grilled oh yes please okay uh zadar uh yeah i'll have the same same uh, i assume you want cheeps with that uh, cheeps, yes. yes. Cheeps, yes. You guys don't know what cheeps are. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, Do you still want them? What are cheeps? <laughs> uh, odd, even. Even the humans go, oh, you got to try some. They're very good. They make them out of uh, something called 
potatoes. <laughs> oh, that sounds lovely. Of course. Of course. We'll take cheeps with them. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. So you guys can continue on. Uh, you were saying head? Something about a head exploding? Yeah, uh, there was somebody. Uh, yeah, there were. Yeah, somebody lost their head that night. <laughs> wow, that is weird. Literally. So did you kill him or you like a trained killer or do you just uh well uh as a matter of fact uh yeah <laughs> it's wow. just like yeah i've i've been in a few scrapes myself uh the one friend uh starts putting the moves on you by saying so uh you wrestle them to death with those deep eyes of yours wow Oh, yes. <laughs> At least I'm not doing my seduction move here. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, is there a reason you're not doing the seduction move here, Frank? Or what? Because these guys are horrible at it. Unlike oh, me. I mean, I right. charm the shit out of you. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but yes, uh, they are intent on your story. Mm -hmm. uh, Camille, I, I tell the, I'll tell them this, the, the tale of... Uh, uh, the events that transpired that night since I awesome. got their full attention. It's just like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I've seemed to, to run out of some mail. Sorry. And, you know, so. Nice. Um, uh, Camille, uh, your gnomes are blah, 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 blah. Your meal comes. Uh, the cheeps are uh, curled, uh, very crispy. Uh, okay. brown brown edges lighter brown on the inside uh and the bartender starts putting something on there uh there's green there's red and there's uh ivory flakes falling down on these things enjoy a fromage sandwich and cheeps thank you thank you and might i get another cherry ale please by all means yes uh, the two humans uh, are ready to pay their tab. Uh, Zadar, they uh, tell the bartender, uh, we're, we're paying for these guys. Oh, well, thank Bartend you. Bartender's fine. Uh, Camille, you're two, re or can't say that word. Your two idiots are stacking <laughs> different <laughs> coins uh, in a Jenga-like formation, uh, noting that you are now not given two shits about that. Uh, go ahead and roll a constitution check. He's that 20. Nice. It's, it's good. Tricks. You really like the cheeps. Mm -hmm. They're very garlicky. Ooh, I got it at 22. Whoa, there we go. We love this meal. This is, this is your new favorite place because this oh, yeah. fromage sandwich and cheeps, this, mm -hmm. this is the shit, man. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> Scarpacci's pizza is really good. Uh, and Gus, Gus Gustavo's food at the Cabbage Patch is nice. But chicken, this is this is the shit right here. Cooper's oh, yeah. is the shit. Fromage sandwich and cheeps. And cheeps. There you go, folks. That is your new favorite hangout. Uh, lunch is clearly over. In, Establishment starting to thin out. Um, bartender brings you your cherry beverage. Uh, looks down. <sighs> Great. Uh, picks up the coins. I hope these are accurate. Both of you give me perception checks. Okay. Uh, 14. Fifteen, actually. I'm sorry. I thought my perception was uh, uh, seven, but it's plus eight. So. Both of you get fifteen. Uh, you hear a mutter, "Lushwall, damn it!" What does that mean? Uh, these guys paid me with Lushwall currency. Now I got to go weigh it, make sure they paid me enough. But um, I'm thinking they paid me a lot. The is that two, bad? The two humans that it's I was just unusual. Yes, the two humans paid Lushwall currency. But. Uh, if they overpaid you, isn't that a good thing? It is, but uh, with the exchange rate being what it is, it just causes more math for my account. 
Okay. I I'll uh what is the, the cost of the meal? Uh it's three gold pieces total. Three gold pieces total. I said I'll tell you what, I'll do your currency exchange for you. <laughs> and I give him the three gold in exchange for the um the loose wall currency for the meal. Well and, and they, a tip. They had they had they had their own meals. Well, yeah, and I throw in for that. Okay. Yeah. How much are you gonna give them? Uh, um, what what would the total come to? What five gold, seven gold? Uh, it'd be six gold plus tip. That's um, fine. Okay, yes. So six gold plus tip. So what? Eight gold. Yeah, so between gold. You, the two you, you, you tell me. Between the two of us. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can tip higher if you want. Okay. Um, or you can tip lower. I give him an extra gold piece. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. He's, he's happy as a lark, man. He'll trade that shit over. Looks at your co coinage and goes, what's this from? Oh, this is uh, actually from, <laughs> from Cacophony, but uh, just feel the weight of it. No, the weight's good. Yeah. Bites on it. He's fine with that. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. You notice our currency doesn't have holes in them. So, <laughs> yes, that helps me determine the weight. Yep. So, yeah, he, he trades you. You guys got a handful of uh, Ushwal currency now. Very good. Very good. All right. So, the two gentlemen there. So, they're gone. They're gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I didn't incline enough to. to you did not. <laughs> Where are you headed, boys? <laughs> you, you did not ask a question. You were too busy self-promoting uh, your uh, unusual heroics. So right. you have no idea where these two fuckers are from, where they're right. going, or where they've been. I was just trying to get a meal, but okay. <laughs> uh, job done. Yeah. So at least we got a clue, and at least I've got two faces to look for. Yeah, so. two humans in a town full of gnomes. Be like us going to China. Hey, there it is. <laughs> nice. There he is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and uh, I think I think I would. I mean, I had been engaged in conversation, so I'd recognize them anytime that I saw. Most likely, yeah, that okay. shouldn't be a problem. Okay, all right. I mean, probably even enough so to where if I shapeshifted, I could shapeshift into one of them, I would think. You were pretty uh, self-absorbed in your explanation. <laughs> oh, okay. So I didn't yeah. get that good enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know, and then I ripped their head off and shat down their neck. But, you know, it's just another day at the office. These yeah. guys could shapeshift into you, but, you know. Yeah, at least from the neck down. From the neck least, down, they get one that of them right. can certainly know that one. Uh, the other one, not so much. Uh, but yeah, you guys find yourself. Uh, let's make sure it's still light rain. Uh, it is cleared off. Okay. No rain. Uh, no rain. No, no rain. So it can't rain the whole time. You aren't in the Philippines, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, but it's wet out. But I mean, the sun's out. We need to try to find Mortimer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sun's so. out as our people. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, so you got that going for you. So maybe we need to try to lure him out. Is there a newspaper or some other form of public communication here? There is a town crier. Uh, there are posting boards, uh, posting totems in the world of Felbar. Mm -hmm. uh, these are job opportunities, etc. They're usually located near bridges, uh, major areas of travel, uh, plazas, things of that nature. Think of it as being in a mall. Uh, for you young kids, you a mall here. is a group of buildings under one roof. Uh, yeah, kind of, the, kind of the you are here uh, signage. Okay. Or or at Burger Hobo Con, you know, we've got signage there. We've got signage there. Yeah. Yes. So if you're a vendor, we, we can get you in there. So what do you uh, think, Sadar? I think we should go and post something like uh, time travel sickness. 
we can uh, help you. <laughs> <laughs> Better call Saul. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Better call Saul. Uh, I mean, we could do something like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. <laughs> Seeking someone for time travel experiments. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Or oh, you, I tell you know you what, I'm gonna find Scott Bakula. Help, help uh, wanted, help wanted, looking for an authority on the theories of time travel. Is there a Tinder or Grinder here? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, but, I mean, he, you know, Mortimer may look at Tinder yeah, or something like that. Mortimer's but it, free. but that that does bring up an interesting point. You are aware of his uh, proclivities proclivities towards the fairer sex. Uh huh. Of course. of course. Okay, I think we need to do something to draw him out because yeah, otherwise we're never going to find him. Right. Right. Uh, I agree. So let's uh, let's see about putting a post out. Okay. Uh, most likely town hall. Okay. We'll head to town hall. Uh, you walk across the front uh, here by the library on the slope, uh, move in through the buildings and back to essentially city hall. Uh, to the left is the chamber that you were just in. Straight ahead is the Hooskow. <laughs> Haven't been to the right yet. Yep. Right uh, is public offices. Okay, so we'll enter the public offices. Uh, it's kind of a uh, an H formation, only there's a hallway that leads to the center line, uh, mm. the, the crossbar. So as you get to the crossbar, there is an information kiosk, and it has an older gnome. asleep oh okay i got it yep. sorry it's hard to see with the the small screen yep. uh uh you know i'll i'll lightly knock at the desk hello yes yes citizen how may i you aren't citizens what do you want uh actually we would be interested in posting the job uh available uh in your either publication or notice board or not quite sure how it works here. Did you want to hire a screamer uh, uh, or do uh, the posting board? What does a screamer entail? It's, I think a, that's a, the... a screamer is an individual who stands around on a box and yells out various uh, interesting that items. That means something different where I come from. <laughs> no, I don't think it's that kind of Not that kind <laughs> of screamer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Just saying. Um, what her her name is, Suki the Witch. Yeah, yeah that's a screamer. <laughs> so, yeah, if you go to the right, uh, both of those offices are there. You've got the screamers mm -hmm. and, of course, the print publication. Okay. Um, yeah, well, uh, well let's Alyssa find out how much it is. Yeah. Okay, which do you want to go first? Um, uh, we'll go to the, Camille, do you want to go to the Screamers first? That's fine. Sure. Uh, you, you see a group of them walking out, all kibitzing, <laughs> carrying on, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you see a head honcho looking type. Uh, it's a male gnome. Uh, he says, what can I do you for? Do they have like the, the boards that they... <laughs> <laughs> that they sandwich boards yeah. Yeah. Or like <laughs> they megaphone. yeah uh yes we'd be interested in hiring your services uh well the afternoon crew just left so it would have to be tomorrow morning that'll be fine that'll be fine how many screamers did you need mm, camille how many how many do you uh, think i just say how does this work yes how do, how how does this how do we work? pay you uh do we pay you, you per you, screamer Per uh, ad. You, you can pay us per screamer and per ad. So if you have multiple ads, it would be uh, redundant charges. But if you just have a single message that you're trying to get out, it is one gold piece per screamer. That screamer will go ahead and pass along your information during the morning for an extra gold piece. Uh, or you know what? For six silver piece, uh, he will repeat it in the afternoon. Uh, so you can choose 
either morning or afternoon, depending upon your needs, or you can choose both. Uh, and we have uh, currently, excuse me, uh, eight screamers uh, throughout the city. And you said it's a gold per screamer and then? Gold per screamer per message. Two messages gets you a cut. Well, we only need one message. Right. Um, okay. How many screamers do you want? How much gold do we have? We have a lot at this point, don't we? You guys, you we guys have a We have a, a, we have a, a lot. Yeah, uh, you aren't hurting for stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, let's just take them all. Yeah, we'll take them all. Uh, eight screamers, one morning or morning and afternoon? Both. Uh, both. Uh, Twelve gold pieces for tomorrow. Sure. Okay. Tink, 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 <clears throat> tink. And I'll write out the script or the message, whatever. Sure. Uh, it's just but, like filling out the telegraph thing. Mm -hmm. uh, where should we have the individuals? Uh... The individuals have set locations. Okay. Okay. <coughs> I mean, for the applicant to meet us. Mean the uh, person we're screaming you, to? You, yeah. You, Oh, yeah, yeah, the respondent. Mm -hmm. The respondent. Okay. Um, uh, Camille, where um, should we? Cabbage patch? Uh, or the pizza sure. place? Um, if I may make a suggestion. Sure. Yes, please. Uh, you should make it in a public location. Some of these people that respond to the screamers are kind of whack jobs. Uh, you should also point out <laughs> what the job is and how much the job pays. Uh, and then I would make the meeting of the applicants the day after. Okay. Uh... Earlier in the morning is probably best so that you get the early risers. The lazy bastards you really don't want to see. Right, right. Um, okay. Uh, public area? Uh I think uh, what would you suggest uh, an area to meet them? I, I would suggest a tavern or otherwise mercantile shop so that they may buy wares. Uh, if you if your job doesn't pay that much, uh, probably in a just an open area. Okay. Um, what do you think, Camille? Um. There's an open like, market here, right? Uh, there is an open market in the plazas. Well, okay. Let's do it there. Yeah, we'll pick a landmark in the open market and, um, yeah, and we'll say, how much should we say this authority would be paid? Camille. Well, what job are we going to advertise for it? Uh, looking for an authority uh, to give a lecture. Ah, very good. On the, th on the nice. theories of time travel. Yes, nice. I like that. Um, hmm. uh, should we say that there'd be a. Um, uh, There's a differential differential for experience. Right, right. <laughs> uh, stipend depending upon experience dependent upon experience. The individual you're dealing with gets up, walks away, starts doing menial tasks while you guys hash everything out. Okay. All right. Yes, we'll say- he, He's within proximity, so if you need him, you can call him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stipend dependent upon uh, uh, authorities' uh, experience uh, for, the le for the lecture. And- do we want to say that it's going to be a continuing job because that's uh, probably going to make it make them more likely to show up? Uh, sure. You have a series of lectures for the week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We'll that's, do that. We'll do that. How much are you paying? Uh, uh, initially, we'll, we'll 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 give an initial price. Uh, say, uh, I don't know, Camille. Uh, 
What would you think? Mm. Or a lecture? 20. Okay. Initial, and then... Uh, if they continue yeah. on, we'll do... Yeah. I don't know. I say, you know we're going to get whack jobs about out, yes. out of this. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's keep it. Uh, Domino uh, the Vanisher, <laughs> right? Or maybe really cheap. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep it at at, at ten, and that d- depends on whether or not we know the lecture is uh, valid or bullshit. <laughs> well, do we have to approve the material first? Yes, of course. Okay. Of course. Be prepared for an interview. <laughs> uh, guy comes back. Done? Yes, we are. Uh, shows here that you wanted at the market. Which market did you want to hold the interviews at? Um, let's see. There's more than one. Mm-hmm. There's... Uh, Remember, I mean, this is this is a fucking city, so. Right, right. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is the blue next? The uh, so you guys are uh, here. Right. Uh, there's an open market on the lawn. There's an open market at the plaza. There's an open market back here, and there's an open market uh, here. Huh. Okay. Uh, which sounds good to you, Camille? Notice the, the, I think the light purple is us, isn't it? No, that's the real estate. You're over here. Oh, okay. The blue? The blue is the temple. Yeah. Um, and we are at Millie's and it's the, the purple that's about where Millie's? There, there, there. There, those are the four open market locations. Right, uh, yours is right outside your place. Okay, yeah, exactly. And we'll we'll meet there then. So your plaza. Yes, our plaza. There, there's a market there, correct? So, yeah. uh, good news: the guy that you were talking to knows a guy and can get you a booth with a couple of chairs. Uh, that would be lovely. <laughs> uh eight gold pieces okay would you like signage uh, i can arrange for that how much is that uh five gold pieces yeah we'll pass nice banner with your faces on it i don't want my face on anything okay. booth eight gold okay uh okay that's fair payment up front all right of course we'll, we'll go ahead and Hey, the, Are you going to pay him in the, loose wall coinage or cacophony coinage? Cacophony coinage. Fair enough. Uh, that'll work. You guys are going to have eight criers uh, or eight screamers, rather, uh, <laughs> doing this tomorrow. That's the All only right. thing you need? Uh, yeah. That, Do you that, offer anything that, else? Uh, this is the screamer corner if you want. Print corner. It's uh, across the hall. Uh, well, just asking. Well, we'll we'll stick with uh, the screamers. So. Right. Fair enough. Uh, that folks sounds like a plan, and that sounds like an excellent place to stop. Uh, sorry, we didn't give you any fighting, but these guys did a lot of fighting last time. So, David, what'd you think of your situation? I think we just gave you a lot of fuel to really mess with us. Yeah. Where the, you guys are going to be so there. many fucking whack jobs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, is, this is your opportunity to stretch your 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 char- character's wings. Yep. <laughs> so. This this is going to be fun. Oh yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Yeah, it was a lot of you know role play, but yeah, it was it, it was fun. So sometimes you just need to stop. Take accountability. You got two magic rings. That might mm-hmm. come in handy at some point in time. Oh yeah. Uh, so you know, a very, a very big win for you guys. Uh, so, 
Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I should have I should have played that up at Cooper's a little a little better to get more, more information, but I didn't. Oh no, Mister Misogynist Pig, you. Oh, it's all about me. Oh, I cut this guy's head off and shit down his neck. Oh, they had Lou Schrocker. So I wonder where they went. Eh, never know. <laughs> uh, Carrie, what'd you think? It was good. I liked it. Um, Fromage and cheeps, man. Oh, I yeah, know. We got that a new place, amazing. man. Amazing. That was wonderful. There was something I was going to say. Um, I'll work on a menu for that place. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay, I can't remember. The old okay. man in the sea bass. Yes, there we go. Oh, oh my oh, God. That, that would be great. Mm. The old man in the sea bass and chips. How about hey. Sylvia chips. Plath in the bell jar? What are you going to do uh, with that? Oh, nice. Uh, uh, it's kind of a morose meal. The eyes yeah. of the creature are still there, so they're always looking uh, at you. It's always looking at you. Arms wide oh. open. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Cacophony Edition. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry about no fighting, but you know what? We still had fun. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to buy our crap, the link is down there. If you want to be on the show, uh, Saturday is a one-shot. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Newcomers always get pushed to the front. So like I said, uh, open show on Saturday. Uh, if you are in the market for dice, go over to Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Hit them up, see if they got time to make you some. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like success, go over to oddfishgames.com. Check out their adventure sets, over 60 aromatic experiences. Don't forget, they also make something called the Shine System to write gooder than me. And all of the domestic uh, how to RPG with your cat products have gone out so uh with lewis DeJoy still in charge the mail sucks so give it a few days international customers you should have been contacted about your purchase if you haven't go ahead and contact oddfishgames.com uh price is uh, a little bit spicy so i think they're giving you a way out of that uh but for all of us here at murder hobo inc we appreciate your time and we hope to see you on saturday for the one shot Kiss and wave, boys and girls. Bye, everybody. Thanks.